They don't want to, they don't want to show the facts. They want to distort the facts. And that is the, the pure definition of fraud, to deliberately hide information that's contrary to what you're trying to say, to take things out of context, to pre pre present things in a manner that leads someone to assume the opposite of what's actually true. So here's the way this money bomb works. If we don't raise at least $500,000, I will return all the contributions and we will not run the ads. Uh, therefore, uh, if you contribute, you're guaranteed that your, contribute, your contribution will count. So if you think that you're going to do it and somebody else won't, well, if somebody else doesn't contribute, then you're off the hook, so you get your money back. Between 500 and a million, we'll go to the media buy. And remember, you got nothing to lose because if enough people don't contribute, you're not going to be stuck because you're going to get your money back. So either this is going to be effective or it's not. So donate as much as you can, knowing full well that if your donation doesn't make a difference because other people don't do their fair share, you're going to get your money back. Hopefully, we raised about $200,000, which is really the most I've raised uh, since day one on this campaign when I originally got half a million dollars before I was a candidate. Uh, but the whole idea was I wanted to get at least $500,000 to run my media buy. And if I didn't make the 500000 I was going to uh, return the contributions because I wouldn't have enough for the ads. Well, you know, I, I've been uh, so impressed with the momentum, momentum that this campaign has picked up recently that I really didn't want to derail it. Uh, so even though we came up short, I decided to kick in the 300000 myself uh, to meet the $500,000 minim minimum. Uh, so the ad campaign will begin uh, tomorrow. there over the last uh, week. I have shaken so many hands, passed out so many flyers, and I can tell you this, finding a Linda McMahon supporter is like finding a needle in a haystack. I can't find them. Her sign, she has no lawn signs. My signs are everywhere. You know, I campaigned with my seven-year-old son one day. He was out shaking hands with me. At the end of the day, you know what he said to me? Daddy, why do so many people hate Linda? There wasn't one person. We talked to all these people. Nobody said they were voting for Linda. Nobody. So, I have to believe that there's a chance that these that these polls are not telling the whole story. And help, I'll pick up those votes, and I can still win this thing. Anyway.